guys, welcome back to our channel. <laughs> so today, something super exciting. Mystery mod. Mystery mod. We are on our way right now to go pick up the mystery mod that Thomas ordered for us. No idea what it is. I'm super excited. I'm hoping it's an exhaust. No. But it's not. So we'll see. <laughs> That's the only other clue I get. So it's between zero and a thousand dollars, and it's not an exhaust because when I ordered this part. We didn't decide on which exhaust we wanted. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. So I'm still hoping for an exhaust. <laughs> so we'll see what it is. We're on the way there right now. So yeah. We are here. Dale's auto service. Time to pick up the part. Steph's gonna be in the car so she can see me coming out with the part and that will be the reveal of what it is. So, Thomas wants it inside right now to get the part. We're waiting for him to come out, so we'll see what it is. But let us know, should we surprise each other with parts? I think that'd be pretty cool, but we'll see. You have it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Close your eyes. Okay. Open. What is this? Open it. It's not an exhaust. I told you it's not. <laughs> Short shifter? Short shifter adapter. Here it is. Mystery mod reveal. What? I was hoping it was an exhaust. <laughs> there it is. Mystery mod. The part is the Perrin short shifter adapter. Now I don't know if you guys watching if you felt like that was anti-climatic because I said zero to a thousand dollars. It's a really good budget mod, and I do think that every car should have came, every STI should have came with it. What do you think? <sighs> <coughs> she was hoping for an exhaust, but exhaust is coming next. But anyways, I'm gonna go home and do the install. We are here on Cypress Mountain in Vancouver. Nice big parking lot. Yes. So you're probably wondering, why are you guys in the parking lot installing a part? Yeah, who does that? Who well, goes to the top of a mountain where there's barely any <laughs> signal to install a part? So because we live in a condo, yeah. we can't work on our cars in the parkade. Yeah. And because we don't have a house, we don't have a garage. So we're left to be creative and find a more secluded area. <laughs> Don't know who that is, but if you're watching this, hey. White Camry, <laughs> shout out to you. We gotta be creative, so we yeah. found this secluded spot. Nice area, I guess. But just because we don't have a space now, doesn't mean we won't have one in the future. Yes! Oh my god, we cannot wait until we can like build a really nice garage and have the proper space for us to like do this. Yeah. And even our friends to come over and just like build cars and just... Hang out. Hang out, do a thing together, literally have a hangar yeah. of just cars, that'd be so cool. But one day, I know in a few years, we'll have that. So mark say. our words, we're going to look back at this video one day when we do have our space. When and... we were literally outside. Yeah. <laughs> so mark our words, and that's why we appreciate any support on this channel. We yeah, do want to totally. take this channel very far, and yeah. we want to take you guys with us. So we're going to do the part install here. Nice and quiet, flat surface, so it's perfect. So we're gonna get right into it. <laughs> okay, so this. Nothing. Garbage. Woo. So it comes with instructions, which is nice. If you think we know what we're doing, we don't. So we're relying yeah. on this. <laughs> comes with um, the short shift adapter itself. I think it's made out of aluminum, could yeah. be wrong. And then you have the two uh, bushings that go under the car because of where we are and we don't have jack stands with us or yeah. a jack we're just going to do the adapter for today see how it drives because you'll be able to feel the difference and then in the future we can do the bushings afterwards yeah tools we need number one we need some pliers we also got some needle nose pliers just in case we need to reach in uh, tinier spots we got a wrench 
As you can tell, we just bought this because we don't have a tool chest. More wrenches, different sizes, just in case, because you never know. Socket set, which we've had for a while, so this comes in handy. And then a punch set. Um, according to the instructions, we'll need this for, I can't remember what that part is, but we'll need it. So that's pretty much it. Oh, and we need a Phillips head screwdriver, which will be right here. <laughs> so that's the tools we need. According to the instructions, let's move on to what we actually need to do to install this part. We gotta take the center console out and there's three screws. There is one underneath the e-brake, right? Which you just pull this part up, the yep. boot, right? You pull the boot up and there's a Phillips screwdriver. And then in the um, this little area, when you take off that cover, there's two screws. So you take that off and we'll be able to pop her out. All right, just kidding. That didn't work. No, it did not. I think we might need a drill. Uh, yeah. did you bring it? No, I did not. Babe, the drill's at home! Aya. <laughs> well, that's fail number one. Number one reason why we need a shop. Yes. So, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because we can't wait to be doing this full time. Like, we got big visions with this stuff. Alright guys, we are in a situation. Mr. Thomas over here. So. You tell them what you did, because I can't, I can't. Uh, so it's actually better to use the 10 millimeter socket for the screws in the, in the console. The only problem is I put the wrong attachment. And if you can see, the attachment is uh, a hex, hexagon. And the socket is a square. Ta -da! So someone didn't pass kindergarten with their shapes. Because of the mishap, we are going to Canadian Tire to grab a new socket. I uh, picked up a drill from home, so we're good to go. So we just need a 10 millimeter socket and we should be back in business. And we'll just do it in the parking lot in case we need any more tools. We'll be right here for convenience. Take two. Two. Handy man. <laughs> okay. Two out. I don't know about you guys, but I hate dealing with plastic trim because, especially on older cars, this car is fine, but I'm just always paranoid that I'm gonna snap like a piece of plastic off. Yeah. And they're just annoying because you can't, it's not like a screw, you can just buy a new one. Once you snap a piece of plastic off, you gotta buy a new one. So, gotta be careful. We should be able to do this. So, so where are you popping it off from? So the side, you can see these tabs. Yeah. Um, and it comes off. And then oh. we just have that to unscrew. We should be able to do that, no problem. We are handy people. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We are handy people. We're what? Handy people. This guy is not a handy This man. is called a screwdriver. <laughs> Thank you, Thomas. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, that's oh. it? Yeah, look at that. It just comes off? Yep. Right. So we took out the plastic screws right there, one on each side, in there. And now the shift boot, we're gonna take off the shift knob first. Just need to unscrew it. Go. And then shift boot, and then you just like Hold feel it. around it, and then yeah. pull up. Yeah. That's it. That's pretty much it. And then just gotta be careful on that side. Yeah. Boom. Oh, we should unplug this. And there's one more. Okay. Boom. The shifter and all its nakedness. Rubber boot is here. We gotta take this out and there's two plastic screws. Uh, we'll just take that out and then the whole piece should come out. Boom. 
One down. So I guess you can just turn it with your hand. Yep. You don't actually need anything. So the key is push the rubber down and then screw it with your hand, unscrew it with your hand and you'll be good to go. This piece should come out. This goes around. Okay. Woo. Boom. Okay. Boom. So <laughs> the I think it's in here. So there's a 12 millimeter bolt here that basically attaches the shifter to the linkage. It's got to come out, and once that bolt slides out, then we have access to the shifter. Go and there Whoa. we go. I'm nice. Gonna, I'm gonna put this on the floor because it's kind of greasy, but that's that. So here we have this. So basically, you see this ball, the white one in there that moves, is what we're replacing. So if you see in here, there's this black rubber ring with the two holes right there. It's called a snap ring. And what we want to do is take the, the pliers, kind of put it in, pinch it, and then try to take it out. But it's kind of greasy. So what does that do? I have no idea. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah! Woo! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Boom! <laughs> so, the snap ring is out. There we go. So that plastic piece comes out. We can take it out. Um, and the little white ball is what we need to remove. We do need a five, four millimeter or five thirty-two inch however you want to say it, oops, a puncher, uh, but we don't have a hammer so we're going to have to be creative. So what this puncher is for is right on the side of this thing, we want to poke it in and uh, we're supposed to hammer it until it comes out I guess. Guess what, your boy is back to Canadian Tire to grab a hammer. Thank God we stayed at Canadian Tire otherwise we'd be running back and forth, but hey, this is a part of modding. I just can't wait to have our own space, our own shop in the future where we have all the tools, we can have the car on a lift if we need to for whatever we're doing to the car. And we don't have to deal with this, but got to start somewhere. So if you guys are in the same boat, got a car, trying to mod, but don't have the experience, don't have the space, don't have the tools, look at us. I think that's what makes it fun. You know, one day we'll look back and we'll realize, wow, when we used to mod our car in Canadian tire parking lots and now look where we are. So I'm excited, but let's go. Aha. We have made <laughs> progress. Few sweats, but so. um, I would say definitely two people to do this. One person hold the shifter while one person hammers it down. That way it doesn't move. Yep. So and that's we'll it. keep going and show you guys when it's out. Yep. So what do you know? We run into another issue. <laughs> we got the little pin out, but then the puncher okay, is stuck in there now. So Let's now go, we gotta pull. And go. Oh. Guys, Ooh! we did it. You have no idea. Uh, Dude, I'm sweaty. <laughs> this stupid thing got stuck in here and it took us probably that was like 20 minutes of just trying to pull it out. That was tough. You're so lucky I like doing this with you. <laughs> That's why we're getting married next week. We are. We gotta, gotta keep her around. <laughs> but yeah, we are getting married next week. First time we're sharing with you guys, but we are getting married, so we're super excited. Yeah, we've been engaged for a little bit now. 
Yeah. We're excited. It's going to be super cool. Yeah. And let us know if you want us to do a how we met video, but yeah, <laughs> we've been we've been, we've been thinking about doing that. But if you guys want us to do it, we'll do it. Cause next week's our wedding. We don't know if we're gonna upload a video, at least for the car. We could upload something else if you guys like. But let us know in the comments below. Yeah. And we'll probably put together something for you guys. Bye. So now that this pin is out, we gotta take this out. Boom! Oh, that was easy. Wow! That was. <laughs> What the heck? This is so annoying. Okay. Okay. This is pretty much garbage. Okay. And now we have the new one. Boom. Nice. So I guess it's plastic. That's aluminum. Wow. That's going to be a big difference. So that's the pin, right? Is there a mm. pin that's going to go inside? Like there was over here? But it does come with Allen key. So maybe this just tightens it. I think so. Because it's closed on the other end. Yeah. So you see how they're like little nuts. And it comes with an Allen key, so I'm assuming it just tightens around the shifter instead of using the stupid pin that doesn't come out. So the screws are loosened. And you just slide it on the top. And there you go. That's and it. Now we just have to. So it says tighten one side for now, just to okay. hold it in place. Does it matter which side or no? No. Okay, cool. Tight. Okay, so grease is ready, and then the ring you put it back same way. Yep. So we're all done. We finally reinstalled everything. Yep. All the pieces are all in, and uh, took longer than I thought because of the challenges or the hiccups we ran into. But yeah. for the most part, not too bad. No, it's pretty easy. All the parts come off really easily. If you guys are looking to doing it, go for it. But I would say definitely do it with somebody because certain parts you def you do need two people to hold it, yeah. um, and then those areas like we couldn't necessarily film. Yeah. But it's pretty cool. Yeah. It's pretty so cool. we'll need the short shifter and probably do the bushings for a better feel and yeah. better verdict. But in the first impressions, compared to stock, it's I guess it's a little bit notchier because at the end of the day you had a plastic piece from yeah. stock versus um, an aluminum piece so definitely the difference is there but in terms of like shorter throws we'll definitely need to do the bushings and the actual short shift yeah there. finish it off to me I feel like it looks a bit shorter but maybe it's just like maybe it's the same but like, I don't know I think we're tripping out I think so <laughs> so you know that's pretty much it for the install video hopefully yeah. you guys enjoyed it hopefully you had a good laugh when we yeah didn't know what we're doing so it just goes to show that if you want to mod your car you just got to start somewhere you're gonna make mistakes you're gonna break a clip here and there you're gonna lose some bolts but that's, that's the fun part it's part of the journey it's not fun but it is fun <laughs> it is part of the journey yeah totally and, uh, there's not a single person that doesn't go through that yeah it's part of it yeah one last thing is let us know if you want us to do a how we met video just because of time wise when we have our wedding next week we probably won't have the time to shoot with the car but we love to still put out a video for you guys if you're curious if you want to know leave a comment and we'll definitely get that out yeah it's interesting for sure <laughs> it is related to the sti though so it is. it's a good story <laughs> we're excited for the next mod so stay yeah. tuned for that it's a bigger much bigger mod it's a big mod yeah it's definitely something that we've been looking at for a while just trying to figure out exactly where we can order it from and how to get it here yeah. um but we're pumped we yeah. are so pumped we know exactly what it is yeah. and you guys will know soon <laughs> yeah so we're pumped for that and just thank you for your support thank you for all of you guys that uh, have subscribed commented showed love uh, we really appreciate that because we do want to take this channel really far and we of course want to bring a lot of people with us so totally. thank you for your support and uh, we promise to continue to put out good content yes so like comment subscribe make sure you guys follow us on instagram we'll be posting there quite a lot this week and until then see you on the, on the next, next one, one.